what's going on guys, Dope Smarter here, and in this video I'm basically going to be talking about bed insulation, showing you guys what I did, and then we'll do something fun, we're basically going to see whether actually adding insulation to your 3D printer's hotbed makes a difference in terms of heating up speeds. I've always printed with PLA up until recently when I built this Fulgurtech uh, Prusa i3, and with PLA, I basically use a um, non-heated hotbed. I don't heat the hotbed, even if it has the option to. Um, and I put down a thin layer of some painter's tape, and everything is good to go. Now, with ABS, you actually have to use a heated bed in order to get the first layer, a couple layers, to adhere properly to the heat bed, um, or to the build surface. Otherwise, you'll get curling, um, or the whole print will fall off on you, and it just won't work out. So. Basically, I have been printing a lot with ABS lately, and one of the biggest gripes or issues I have is the amount of time it has been taking for my 3D printer to heat up to the proper temperature. This hotbed on this printer was maxing out at about 90 degrees Celsius, although I've lately been able to get it to go to all the way up to like 120, um, 90 degrees Celsius it would even like struggle to get to. So I looked online, I looked and saw and read and checked out a lot of different things and people were saying that you can use cork, you can use cardboard, you can use some kind of like packaging foam, um, there was a ton of different things and they do sell already pre-cut, um, pre-cut cork for 3D printers, at least I saw it on Amazon, but it was kind of pricey and I didn't really want to, um, have to buy potentially like two of them and spend and spend the I think it was like 10 bucks a piece or something like that I don't know don't quote me on that but basically I went ahead and picked up these guys which are basically uh, they're cork tiles and you would just use them to I guess post on your wall and then you can tack things with thumbtacks and hang things on them and they are roughly I want to say a quarter of an inch thick um, let me measure it actually so it's more like one fifth of an inch uh, roughly, give or take. So I picked up this um, eight pack of them. So I've got plenty. If I ever needed more, I just they don't come in single packs. And um, basically took a pen and measured out the eight inch by eight inch build platform, and then took some scissors to it and cut it. Um, and then I have a couple of screws in my uh, hotbed. So I just took like I laid this down and I can feel where the bumps were from the screws so I pushed down really hard with my thumb till it left like an indentation on the um, cork and then I literally just took like a Phillips head screwdriver poked a hole and twisted and that way when I set it back on top the head of the screws that were in my hotbed would sit flushly inside of here versus having like some you know like a warped build surface and then I just took some um, foil tape basically and used it um, to cover the sides of the bed to insulate and keep the heat in even more. So I'll go ahead and show you really briefly what it looks like on my setup and then we will head over to the computer and um, run a test to see if there really is a difference in how long it takes to heat up the uh, platform. So whether actually insulating your bed is something you might want to consider doing. So let's take a look. So I basically just did my best to make the tape as straight and kind of snug as possible, um, only leaving little gaps in the corners basically for the springs and the screws. Um, I also left a gap uh, around the contact points. Make sure you do that. You don't really want this. Um, you don't want this in the contact points actually. Um, you could also use like Kapton tape. I'm sure that would work well. I just only have really thin Kapton tape. So um, what you're seeing here is on the left side, the non-insulated, on the right side, the insulated. I just ran a stopwatch next to each one. Um, it took the non-insulated one um, 18 minutes to hit the tuner and, and no, I'm sorry, 120 degrees Celsius. And I took the insulated one 14 minutes to reach the 120 degrees Celsius. So four minutes uh, difference, which was about 22%. And um, honestly, that might, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't seem like a lot to you. But uh, if you think about if you have to wait roughly a four minutes difference each time, that really takes a long time. And especially if you're like troubleshooting stuff or like testing out your settings with PLA, um, I'm sorry, ABS and having to constantly heat up and heat down have to wait like that amount of time every single time. Um, it makes a pretty big difference. So um, if this is something you might want to do. I will link you guys in the description to where you can get both the cork that I picked up as well as the foil tape. Um, 
but yeah, I read a lot up on this stuff and I just didn't really get a ton of information other than suggestions. I wanted to see for myself just like how much of a difference it really made and if it did. So um, hopefully this information is useful and again, interesting to you guys. And um, yeah, if you got any other questions or comments, let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smack the like button and I will see you later. Peace guys.